Regent Cohen, you are recognized. Uh, thanks. Um, at one point several years ago, there was some discussion of a development project uh, with the campus in the Richmond area along the water. I didn't see that in the documents. Is that because if that ever went forward, it would be a completely separate plan or have plans for that changed? Uh, just if you could give me a little bit of context on, uh, on that. I'd Property. be glad to do that. The Richmond campus would has a separate LR would have a separate LRDP, um, so it wouldn't be uh, included in this plan. And right now, um, given the Moffett Field project, given the conversations about Mills College, this is very much on the back burner for us. Gotcha. And since you just opened that up, uh, we have been getting a number of emails on Mills College. Is there anything you would like to uh, say publicly on that topic? I, we just continue to be in conversation. Great, thank you. Just one last point of clarification, then I'll move on to Lieutenant Governor Kunalakis, who has been patiently waiting. Um, and I believe, Chancellor Chris, you made a reference to Moffitt and that that would actually have its own, perhaps campus related. So you, would you then, um, you would not include them in this sort of count of faculty and, and staff, or would you do that? I, I think it's too early to um, answer that question. Um, that what, what in our preliminary discussions about students, we're imagining students moving back and forth between the Moffat and the Berkeley site. So um, the um, the the uh, like junior year abroad in the Silicon Valley, um, and um, one of the goals that I've had as chancellor is to try to figure out how we can grow our student population without growing significantly, just growing minimally the number of bodies in Berkeley. Um, so we would really welcome those opportunities a way, as a way of growing enrollment, whereas keeping our campus population. Um, relatively stable uh, just because of the of how landlocked we are as a campus. Um, faculty, um, uh, some faculty might be located at Moffitt, but I think it's more likely that they would move back and forth. Okay, so the people are fluid. Um, all right, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor uh, Kunalakis, um, you're Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Uh, Chancellor Christ, um, I would like to go back to the question that um, Chair Park had about Mills College. I've been getting a lot of inquiries about this as well. Um, is, is the um, LRDP, does it address the question of potential around Mills College? And um, can you just uh, tell us, because my understanding is there is a residential program um, right now. Does that impact housing numbers? Um, and anything more that you can tell us relative to the LRDP about Mills? Uh, first of all, Mills is entirely independent of this current LRDP. And if an agreement were reached between the regents of the University of California and Mills College, um, that would have to have a separate LRDP process. Um, right now, we have a program for freshmen. Um, it's called the Oakland Changemaker Program which is run by our university extension, which will have 200 students at Mills in the fall, but that's independent. We're using it essentially as rental property in order to house more of our students and we're providing their coursework for them um, on the Mills campus. But that's really quite independent of whether we can reach agreement or can't reach agreement with Mills about a uh, longer and profounder connection. Okay, thank you, Chancellor. Okay, I do not see any other members wishing to be recognized as this is a discussion item. We will see this back. Oh, um, I misspoke. Uh, Chair Paris, would you? We didn't misspeak. Uh, I was just late on the trigger. Um, and I debated whether I should raise this, but Chancellor, just because the Mills question has come up a couple of times. In fact, if, in fact, the fact that we're renting space from Mills now, uh, both takes pressure off of development in Berkeley, correct? And it adds financial support to the current Mills College. Right. Right, so, um, so you know, it, it is the current 
agreement as we've used the relationship for some time is both relieves pressure on the city of Berkeley and adds financial benefit to the Mills campus. So, yes. Um, thanks. That's correct. Thank you. So we will see this again as an item for approval, I believe in the fall, Chancellor? I think it's coming back in July. In July, okay, so we will actually see this at the next um, at the next meeting. So thank you very much for sharing with us your plans and I and I will say um, in the the pressure to grow I know has been uh, intense and um, I do appreciate that you are consistently making room for student enrollment growth. Um, perhaps to the dismay of some, but I, I do know that that uh, people very much want to access the UC Berkeley campus and to um, that you're looking at so many opportunities to find a way to grow to meet um, meet the desires uh, and the needs of, of California. So thank you very much for that. And we look forward to seeing the item again in July. Thank you. Wonderful. The next item before us is public comment. To our guests today, welcome and thank you for your interest in the University of California and for taking time to be with us. The Regents appreciate your observations and comments. It's important to hear from the public on issues concerning the University of California. Mark, please proceed with your comment. Good morning. Um, I wanna thank the Board of Regents for um, the public comment section and listening to my call. Um, I am a alum of, of Mills College, class of 2017. I want to ask you to vote no on any proposals related to Mills College. Um, the Mills College Coalition opposes any action or vote by the UC Regents that would close or dismantle Mills College as a degree-granting institute. The closure of Mills and our 169-year-old legacy is an equity issue. 65% of Mills students are students of color, 44% are first-generation students, and Mills is a Hispanic-serving institution. Please, do not be the regents who foreclose on a historically women's college during a global pandemic. Please be remembered as the regents who stepped in and helped preserve a unique incubator of diverse leadership in California. In addition, Mills faculty and staff cannot lose their jobs, and Mills students cannot lose their right to earn a degree from Mills. Thank you for your decision. Hello, UC regents. I am a founding member of the Save Mills College Coalition. And before I tell you a little bit about my story, my heartfelt ask is for you to consider the true value of Mills College as an independent degree granting entity. I am asking you to please do not vote on any proposal before understanding what Mills means to the students, faculty, staff, the Oakland community, and the 17 decades of alumni. Mills College serves a diverse, undergraduate student body. 25% identify as Latinx, 44% are first generation college students, and 65% identify as people of color. There are 17% non-traditional or resuming students, and I am one of those students. I originally had to leave because of family reasons, and I made a promise to come back. And Mills College, that education is unlike any other. I have tried other colleges and universities, but at Mills, there's no stigma for returning. I am, <laughs> it is a 169-year-old college, and I'm asking you to vote against any and all measures that would work to close Mills College. My name is Ariana Merlino. I am a founding member of the Save Mills College Coalition. As a proud graduate of both UC San Diego, with greetings and respect to Chancellor Kosala and Mills College, it is with heavy heart that I implore the Regents and UC Berkeley to halt any negotiations with the administration of Mills College and vote no on any item before you today or in any future meeting that would result in the transfer of real estate or any assets from Mills College or its endowments. On March 17th, the college first publicly revealed the Board of Trustees' intention to shutter the college as an independent degree-granting entity. Since then, members of the Mills community, to include current students, faculty, alums, and staff, had been engaged in a fight to save our college. The coalition has taken steps on a legal front to prevent the closure of the college, including a legal memo from Alt Schuller Berzon to the California Attorney General, concluding that the announced closure plan violates California law and asking the AG to investigate. The coalition viewed this request as one of last resort as pleas for transparency in collaboration of fallen on deaf ears. 
Although the college's president, Beth Hillman, and the board of trustees have not been forthcoming about the college's negotiations with UC Berkeley, we understand that there are plans for UC to take over the real estate or some portion there of currently mm-hmm. belonging to Mills College. We oppose any action the UC re- by the UC regents that would result in the end of Mills College as an independent degree-granting entity that is a 169-year-old gem in the academic crown of California. Please do not participate in the clandestine actions that have been undertaken by the Mills College Board of Trustees. Good morning. My name is Nadine Dixon. I am here to speak about Mills College. The Save Mills College Coalition opposes any action or vote by the UC Regents that would close Mills College as we know it. The closure of Mills College is an equity issue. 65% of Mills students are are students of color. 44% are generation students, and Mills is a Hispanic-serving institution. The law firm of Al Schuster Berzin, on behalf of the Safe Mills College Coalition, have decided that the Board of Trustees took a radical and unlawful departure from the charitable purposes of Mills College by announcing their plans to close the college by 2023. The close do not be the regents who foreclose on historically women's college that serves predominantly students of color at the end of a global pandemic. Be remembered as the regents who stepped in and helped preserve a unique incubator of diverse leadership in California. Mills College cannot lose their right to earn a Mills College degree because of your decision. Thank you. Heba, please proceed with your comment. We couldn't hear you before. Thank you. Um, I'm Heba Campbell, Mills College, class of 2002. In January of 98, I stepped out of the rear side car door of a rented car at the Oval, Mills Hall in front of me, to take my first breath of that signature eucalyptus and saltwater air, and instantly know that this would be amongst the greatest influences of all my remaining days. Mills College would not only become my educator and my haven, in the years that followed and all the years since, she would become my heart. Though decades have passed since I last sat in her classrooms, the lessons I learned at Mills, from her professors to her ethos, from her campus to her impact in her community, from her naive fresh people to her exemplary alumni, have grown with me every day since. I can say with certainty and pride that my self-worth, my decision-making, my exceedingly sophisticated meets utterly frivolous aesthetics, my social presence, my activism, and my own ethos, and maybe most importantly, my parenting of two racially, ethnically, religiously mixed boys can trace roots to those lessons. I am Mills Maid. To see Mills College, California's first historically women's college and the nation's first to welcome trans and non-binary students facing demise at the hands of her board of trustees through a process devoid of transparency and accountability and now foreclosure at the hands of UC Regents is devastating to me and all Mills siblings, but it is even more so for those missing her future. So on behalf of the Mills College, Save Mills College Coalition, I urge you to consider the value of Mills College is an independent degree-granting entity for all of California. Any proposal before you... Larissa, please proceed with your comment. Hello, my name is Larissa Shapiro, and I am an alumna of Mills College, and I am also a parent of a current student at Mills College, class of 2024. Um, I want to say before I tell you a little bit more about my personal story that I just, I implore everyone on the Board of Regents to to research and understand the value of Mills College and its 17 decades of history, our 22,000 alumna, and the deep diversity of the college that has been clearly explained already by some of my alumni siblings. I just want to add my personal experience because Mills is a small and inclusive liberal arts college and because it centers the experiences of women as well as trans and non-binary students, I was able to get an education there that I would not have gotten, I believe, anywhere else. And it empowered me so deeply as a young autistic bisexual woman who felt very small in the world, and it empowered me to be able to enter a very masculine-dominated profession in technology and build a 25-year career culminating in where I am today, leading diversity, equity, and inclusion for technology companies. I want to thank you in advance 
for considering carefully before making any decisions or voting on anything at all regarding Mills College. Thank you. Kieran, please proceed with your comment. Hi, I'm a founding member of the Save Mills College Coalition and ask you to oppose any vote or negotiation that results in Mills closure as an independent degree granting women's college or the transfer of its assets. Mills is not a land acquisition deal for UC to solve its housing crisis. Mills is a beloved institution that is 169 years old, serving and creating women's leaders. It's needed now more than ever, and once it's gone, it will be gone forever. This is a time to defend women's education, not dismantle a smaller neighbor that has fewer resources to defend itself. Alumni, students, faculty, and staff do not want this transition. Mills faculty overwhelmingly passed a resolution of no confidence against President Hillman and the Executive Committee of the Board of Trustees. Don't exploit our time of vulnerability by moving forward with this negotiation that would destroy Mills College. Thank you.